Hello, everyone. This is Akio Matsuoka. I am a co-author of the Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. This channel, Eva and I are showing exercises in a book and also some tips for Rhino and Grasshopper modeling. Today, I am showing you an interesting example using Image Sampler in Grasshopper. This exercise is divided to the two parts. First, I am showing you the 2D graphic with image sampler. And the next video, I will continue with it and create an emboss relief. Let's get started. I'm going to make a grid first. Two series. And I will create the number slider of the 200 and connect to count, drop the cross reference, and connect to the A and B, and it connects to construct points, X and Y. And you will see 200 by 200 points on the plane, and I will turn off the preview. And I'm getting an image sampler from param tab and connect to construct points. And select the image. I place the black and white image inside and go to the setting and 200, 200, so 0 to 199. And we're going to uh, read the grayscale and interpret. And get an evaluate from the mass tab. So this evaluate, I'll put the formula here, which is right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to use a panel so that uh, everybody can see it better. The formula is if parentheses x is larger than y, it is 1, otherwise it is 0. and connect to the formula. Yes, it's uh, red, but don't worry about it. X goes to the image sampler, and Y, I have to make a number slider. So which is, let's say, uh, 0 0.25. Then connect to the number slider. Then the dispatch. Dispatch separates the list to A and B according to the pattern. So list is coming from all the point, and this pattern, pattern is coming from this formula. Disable the preview. Okay. And what we're going to use the output is a circle. The plane goes to A. Right here you go. Uh, R is radius. I will make a number slider 0 less than 1.00 and connect to that radius so that you will see how the each circle's radius changes. I'm putting a panel now and connecting to image sampler. You will see numbers from 0 to 1 with decimal points. Decimal points area shows transition from white to black in the image. Now, after this formula, let me get down another panel. After going through the formula, 
or the grayscale is translated into the zero and one, which is black and white. Now I'll, I go a little bit farther on this. I will get another dispatch. And the list connect to uh, image sampler. And pattern connect to the evaluate, the formula. And then I'm getting a multiplication and connect to the A. B is I put the number, let's say 0 0.5. And then I'm going to switch this radius to this multiplication. Actually, I'm going to make it for the two decimal point. It may be more interesting. Now I'm changing this image from this circle to this girl. And I will play with remap and graph mapper. Here is a remap number. And remap number usually work with a bounce. And connect to the image. And then we need a target. So T is a target. Target is 0 to 1. And then connect to the target. And then this remap number connect to the graph mapper. Here's a graph mapper. Now you can see different kind of graph types, and I'm going to get a Bezier this time. And then you can play with a uh, shape. So I'm going to make a shape slightly like this. And then getting another circle. And the circles of plane is going to a uh, construct point. I wanted to see the different kind of result, so I'm going to remap to 1 to 0 so that I can reverse this image. And then here is the result now. In the next video, I will create a solid embossed relief from this 2D graphics.